Okay, so first things first, this is, this is the good stuff. We have some new view types, some new styles that include ambient occlusion. I love, I like the look of ambient occlusion. You know, just the, the gentle shadowing, the way it emphasizes where materials butt up against each other. So this isn't ambient occlusion. This is just a regular old SketchUp uh, view, default style. This, but I have right here, I do have a scene shared with ambient occlusion. So you can look at that and you can see this Look, it just, ah, ooh, mm, I love me some ambient occlusion. It just gives me some depth. It gives me some shadow. It gives me some hint of where geometry is. So you can see these shadows that show up just toggle back and forth, right? If I go back to standard, uh, it's, I mean, this green chair is all green. These, I have a wood material in here and they're just all wood the same. Whereas if I toggle on the ambient occlusion, you can see you get those shadows. You get that depth, that, that look of overlapping materials. So cool. There's a bunch of these, uh, ambient occlusion uh, types in a, I have a group here in the, in 2024 ambient occlusion style types, and I have a bunch in here and they just, I just have the ability to come in and change the ambient occlusion values. Just, I mean, there it is. It's one of those things where, you know, the image speaks for itself. You get to see it. It's awesome. It's in here. It's part 2024, better looking models by far. Uh, it does get away from, you know, that classic SketchUp look where it just had these kind of flat materials and lines, which is still available. I could still look at, make files look this way all the time, but if I want to, I can add that depth, add those shadows, go a little bit deeper. And again, this isn't, this isn't like a rendering or anything. This is actually my SketchUp model. So I can move around in it. Those, those shadows, those ambient occlusion, uh, shadows and tones stay in the model as I move in 3D space.